Hello, my name is Adam Linder and I'm a Big Fix technical advisor based out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In this video, we'll be talking about how to create a basic custom report in Web Reports. Before we get started, feel free to scan the QR code in the bottom left of the screen, which will bring you to my LinkedIn profile. If you have any questions after the video, I'll be happy to follow up with you. Out of the box, Web Reports offers many useful built-in reports. You can also create reports using the powerful filtering tool. Sometimes, however, the information you want will be too specific or complicated to get from the filtering options. In that case, Web Reports allows you to create custom reports built from a combination of session relevance, HTML, and even JavaScript. I'm not going to spend much time in this video on the concept of session relevance, so if you aren't familiar, you may want to head over to developer.bigfix.com and read the material there. You'll need to do a little bit of configuration before you can use custom reports in your environment. There are two registry values that will need to be set to one, though you really only technically need the first one. Without allow custom report creation, you won't even be able to see the custom tab. Allow user view custom configures web reports so custom reports behave like other types of reports. If you make them public, other users will be able to see them. During this demo, I'll take you through the anatomy of a custom report. The underlying session relevance, using relevance to format your report into an HTML table, and finally, putting in the barebones HTML needed to display the report. Let's get into the demo. I've got a pretty simple session relevance statement here, which gives me the name, unique ID, and last report time of the computers in my environment. I wrote it in the built-in Q&A utility in Web Reports. If you haven't seen it before, it's just like the Q&A utility that allows you to evaluate client relevance, only this works to evaluate session relevance against your big fix environment. It isn't linked to from anywhere in web reports, but you can get to it by setting page equals Q&A in the URL. I've already started on a custom report and framed it out with the absolute minimum you need for a custom report. These bracket question mark relevance and question mark bracket tags. Anything you put in between those tags will be evaluated as relevance. Down here we can see that it has the information we need, but it could be spruced up a bit. With not too much work, we can get it looking like this, a nice, legible, formatted table. The relevance language has a built-in way to do this, using the TD, TR, and TH tags. The first thing we need to do is build a row, which is made out of individual cells. Each row in the cell will be built by members of our tuple, name, ID, and last report time. To do that, we need to add TD tags to each tuple item. In relevance, you can just add td of item x of it before each tuple item. I've explicitly cast each tuple item as a string since that's what our HTML will need to be able to display. Notice also that we're separating the tuple items by ampersand rather than comma. That's because we actually want to break up the tuple and return one big giant mashed together blob of HTML. And as you can see, that's what we're starting to get. Each tuple item is encased in these TD tags, but we still have six individual answers per computer. Next, I'm going to add concatenation of TRs of to solve that problem. What this does is add a TR tag to the beginning of each row and to the end of each row to indicate that these are rows in our table. Now you can see that we have a TR tag, then that first answer from above, and then a closing TR tag. Now we have one big blob of text rather than six individual answers. Finally, let's add some headers. We're going to repeat the process we followed before, only this time we'll create a table row out of table headers rather than table data. By adding TR of concatenation of, TH of, and then the three headings that we care about, computer name, computer ID, and last report time, then connecting it to our original statement, we now have a finished piece of HTML that we built solely using relevance. Let's plug it into our original report. This looks terrible because we haven't actually let web reports know it should expect to parse any HTML. Here on this tab, I have the barest of all bare bones HTML you need to get this to display. It's just HTML, body, 
and table tags with our relevance inside the table declaration. Now we've got our nicely formatted table. From here, you can add in as much HTML formatting as you like. You could make the computer name real red. You could add some custom JavaScript to make the columns sortable by clicking their headers. And some people have even done work around creating custom charts using external libraries. But all of that's outside of the scope of this video. That's our video introducing how to make a basic custom web report. This slide has links to additional resources. If you poke around the Big Fix forum, you'll be able to find examples of more advanced custom reports users have made. Thanks for watching.